Hey, welcome to this tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create amazing background for your dashboard. So let's see how can we do that. So here is our canvas. Basically, as you can see, I'm using some custom size for this canvas. Basically, it's not default. So let me show you how you can change it as well. If I click on this page, current page settings, and then we will have setup and style. Let's click on style. And here we can provide height and width. For height, I provided this value. 563 so you will see why is that so okay so now that we completed that it's time to create that amazing background so let's see how can we do that basically for that purpose i'm gonna import image let me minimize this window as you can see i have this image on my desktop so i would like to import that in google Looker studio so let's see how can we do that if i click on this here in this section you will be able to see this image option if you click on that, you will be able to upload the image from your computer. So let's click on that option. If I click on that, here is my image. I'm gonna click on that. Okay, great. Now we have this image. Now it's time to resize it. So let's put it like this and I'm gonna resize it. As you can see, canvas size is perfect. So that's why I changed those dimensions. And now we need to do one more thing. Let's go back to this section again. And this time I'm gonna use this shape. Let's click on that and let's drag it here. Now we have this shape. Let's put it above this picture. Resize it. And now it's perfect. Now what I would like to do, I would like to first change this color. Let's put it to be black. And what is the most important, I'm gonna change this transparency. Let's put that to be 70% for example. And now this way we will be able to see our picture, but also we will be able to include charts, tables and so on above this background. So let's try to do that. I will first go to add a chart option and then I will insert some table. If I place it here, I will be able to see my table. Now, as you can see, I first need to change those labels. Let's go to style and then table labels will be white. Okay, this way we are able to see our table here. As you can see, we can also filter it and everything else. Basically, our picture is below our table. So let's also try to insert a chart. Let's use pie chart, for example. I'm going to place it here. And now we have this chart. So with this, I'm going to conclude this tutorial. Thank you for watching.